everyone, I'm going to do another tutorial. Today it's using randomly a lot of Inglot shadows which um, I just kind of found them as I was rooting around in my makeup and I thought, do you know what? Some of those colours are really nice and a lot of them I haven't even used apart from swatching them so that's quite naughty so I thought I would just pull some of them out and create a bit of a look for you tonight. I'm also testing out my new lights. As you can see the light is quite bright. Um, Dan very kindly for Christmas got me um, some proper studio lights so I'm just kind of testing them out but I think it, the lighting looks pretty good looking in the viewfinder so I'll soon find out when I put it on the computer exactly how good it is. So hopefully that is um, good as well and it's nice and clear and the colours are good. So. Anyway, the tutorial is coming up right now. I'm going to start by priming my eyes with Urban Decay's Primer Potion. Then I'm going to take the Inglot eyeshadow and the colour of that is Matte 379, which is a lovely kind of cornflower blue um, purple colour. I'm just going to apply that colour right up to the crease. Next I'm going to take Mystery by MAC which is just like a flat brown shade. And I'm just going to apply that into the crease. Next up, I'm going to take um, Matte 357 by Inglot, which is just a uh, medium brown, it's completely matte, and I'm just going to use this to blend um, out that mystery just at the top and just fade it all out. take another Inglot shadow, this one is matte 340 and it's like a really dark teal or like a petrol blue and I'm going to take it on this um, more precise brush and just work it slowly, like gradually just building up into the very outer crease and then just kind of drag it inwards It's like using little like flicking movements. And then I just blend it out with the 217. Next up I'm just going to take the uh, matte shadow that I used all over the lid here and just run that along the lower lash line. And then just take that dark teal colour again with this little brush again and just work a teeny amount of this just into the lashes just right on the outer part of the eye, just like these outer lashes here. Just to lighten up on the inner corner here I'm just going to use um, the Inglot Pearl Eyeshadow 395 which is just like a champagne colour and I'm just going to use it on a really small uh, this is like a concealer brush um, and just concentrate that just right on the inner corner. Finally just to add some definition underneath the brow I'm going to take Inglot's Matte uh, Eyeshadow in 352 um, which is just really a skin coloured matte shade and I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and just run it um, underneath the brow. The liner that I'm going to use is Black Track by uh, MAC which is just a plain black gel liner and I'm going to use my MAC 209 brush to apply that. And then on the uh, inner rim of the lower lash line I'm just going to pop some 
black liner. The one I'm using is Cargo's High Pigment Pencil in black. Just going to apply some mascara now. The one I'm going for is Clinique's Lash Dublin Mascara, and this is in black. Okay, next up I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows just a little bit and I'm going to use the e.l.f. single eyeshadow in the shade Pebble. This is like a perfect cool toned brown that's great for most people for brows. some concealer now. The one I'm using is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, and this particular one is the um, Dark Spot Treatment Corrector. Um, I'm not sure whether it does much for dark spots or whatever but um, I like it. The blush that I'm going to use is by MAC and it's called Peaches and it's a sheer tone, yeah, a sheer tone blush. I'm just going to apply a touch of powder. The one I'm using is Stay Matte by uh, Rimmel in the shade. 004 Sandstorm. On my lips, I'm going to use an old favourite that I recently repurchased, and this is the MAC Luster Glass in Love Nectar. I've already had this and used it till it was completely done, and it's just this perfect, like, neutral peachy colour. And there we go, so that's the finished look. Just something a bit more bright and colourful, especially when it's these dark winter horrible dreary days like it is here, full of rain and yucky stuff like that. So um, if you want to know exactly what I used I will list all the products below. Also check out my blog, I've been neglecting it a bit recently but I'm hoping to rectify that very soon and try and get some things posted up on there even if it is just um, now and again. So until next time, bye!